Now, this is why I left it at the pool and forgot about. I don't use that for Starlight. Should I talk about that? They're good. They can, they can go straight back in my diving bag. Hi guys, I'm Sam Fricker, Australian Olympic diver, and this is what's in my diving bag. Now, this is the bag I take to the pool every single day. So nearly anything that I think I would need for diving, I chuck it in here. So one of the main things we keep in this bag is my key to the back door of the pool. This thing's like gold and I love it. It saves me walking all the way out into the front and uh, let's go straight in the back door, pretty low key. Now, of course, got to have me AirPods for training. I use these when I do my warm up, and my favorite thing about them is their sound canceling. So when I come in, I typically talk to my coach, put my headphones in, and then just get straight to training. And that way I don't get distracted because I can't hear anyone. So this is my mask from the Olympic games and all my teammates give me a really hard time about it because it's absolutely filthy. I have washed it, but I've literally used it for probably two years. I think that's criminal, but <laughs> these are the ones we wore at the Olympics. I keep one in there just in case, because you never know like when we're traveling where we might need to wear it. So that's always in there as well. All right, this is my key to the front door of the pool, but it's not as cool as the back door key. So now, of course, as a diver, I have a ton of Speedos. And I don't know why, but I tend to keep most of the Speedos I own in my bag. So. Let's have a look. There's a few. Well, these are the bands I use every day as well. They just come out. I have like a few of the bands because I use them for my warm up every single day. It's for my shoulder rehab or prehab just to prevent them getting injured and they're super important. Um, I always keep a few there just in case because they can snap. Back to the speedos. So as I was saying, I have a ton of swimmers. I probably keep too many in my diving bag. Yep, so these are all the ones I keep in my diving bag. Everything from me, classic Australian swimmers. These swimmers I've been wearing in videos. They've got me over a billion views. So those are some of my favorite. The Olympic Speedos, very important to me. The Commonwealth Games Speedos, another, another pair that's super important to me. They're really nice, got Australia on the back. And then we just got a bunch of Diving Australia ones. So Diving Australia tend to change their swimmers up every year or so. So these are some older ones. These are some older Diving Australia ones. These are some older Diving Australia ones as well. These are the most recent pair I got. I wore them at the World Championships in Japan. I got home two days ago from that. So they're our most newest ones. Some with N-Swiss, the New South Wales Institute of Sport. Uh, and these are their swimmers, so. We've got a bit of everything in here. And of course, we just have some fun ones. Like, well, actually, these, these are some Diving Australia ones as well. Most of them are all Diving Australia. Now, these are Diving Australia, but they kind of look like the Bahamas. They've also got like a palm tree straight out the front. <laughs> if I chuck them in like a top corner. Now, of course, when it comes to content, you're going to need your tripod. I actually love this thing. It's so small. I can literally slip it into my pocket and watch this. So you go bang, bang, bang. Da -da. I can film my diving videos. It's like perfect, I love it. And the, the thing is, because normally our coaches, I can get them to video, but when they're coaching, I prefer just to put my phone on the side. I can video all my dives and edit up the videos after, especially when we're traveling around overseas. It gives me an opportunity to still get content kind of while staying out of everyone's way. Super useful. I use it for hundreds of videos, vlogs, all kinds of things. It's my favorite tool. Next, we got my eye tag. Now I really like the smell of it. It's like beeswax, it smells great. But uh, what we use it for is because we're wet, we go grab our legs and hold those tight positions and you don't want to slip out from the water. So we actually put a little bit of the eye tag on our hands or on our legs. So when we grab our hands or our legs, we can get them really tight and they give you grip. So you don't slip out and you can get those correct entries. So well enough explained. It's basically grippy stuff we put in our legs. Helps us out when we're wet. These are a pair of trigger balls. I actually don't know where I got them. I think I might yoink them from the N-Swiss gym. 
Uh, but they're very useful. You put them down your back. It tries to loosen up both sides. It feels quite good and uh, helps prevent me getting injured. Another thing I always have in my bag is my strapping tape. Now you can always see me diving with it around my right ankle. And if I'm doing platform, I'll always put it on my wrist as well. It just helps reduce that repetitive impact from training to prevent injuries and help me stay at my best. Now when we're in the water, like your skin tends to get pretty dry, especially when you're putting your chamois on your face a lot. So I tend to always keep moisturizer in my bag as well, because it can get pretty irritated your skin when you're always in and out of that water. So these are chamois and they're definitely one of the three mandatory things I need for diving every day. Now they should look a bit like this. They're like a squishy towel that we can use repetitively to dry ourselves over and over again. But when they dry up, they look a bit more like that. Now, this is why I left it at the pool and forgot about. I found it last night. And it's, it's just quite hard. Um, and I actually think, oh yeah, I've got some swimmers stuck in here too. They're good. They can, they can go straight back in my diving bag. But yeah, so that's a hard chamois. This is what it's meant to look like. Now, of course, got to have your Australian stick-on tattoos. Very important. Can't go without. You never know when you've got to represent the country. Always be prepared. Aside from the stick-on tattoos, keeping an Australian flag in your bag is another mandatory. Got to do it. You never know when you've got to support your team. Be out there cheering them on. Australian flag is very important to keep in your bag. Now, because I am in and out of the water a lot, I do tend to keep some shampoo and conditioner in there. I've also been given some swim clean stuff that we keep in there as well. Just a little bit more effective, tries to keep my hair as healthy as possible, because when you're in the chlorine all day, it tends not to be too great for you. Just like that. A lot of the time too, I'll be going from training straight to events. So I tend to keep things like razors, and toothpaste and toothbrush in my bag, just to try and stay on top of things so I can finish diving and quickly run to an event. In fact, after training tonight, I have a dinner for the Australian Olympic Committee and I'll probably need to use these before that. And this is basically everything I'll use typically throughout my weeks of training. Most of it is fairly important, but there's three things I need every day and that'd just be ITAC, swimmers, and a shower. Most important, everything else is still quite important, but these are the three major things. So that's everything I keep in my diving bag. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, but don't turn on the bell because I post way too many shots. And these swimmers you always see me wearing are actually Delfinas. They're made from recycled plastics. You can check out a video on them right here. And if you want to get some, check out the link down below. I really appreciate your support.